Hi guys, Suella Braverman stood up in the House of Commons on Wednesday and delivered a Rivers of Blood type speech. She then appeared on the Nick Robinson show where she was somewhat roasted over her toxic behaviour which he described as grubby headline seeking. This is all about her courting the far right within the Conservative Party. They like her smell blood and attempting to insult her will actually have the opposite effect. It will boost her image as an extreme figure. But let's have a listen. You sort of laugh at me as if I'm the one talking about a Conservative death wish. You've condemned the leader of your party's uncertain, weak and lacking in leadership. You've said he never had any intention of keeping his promises. You've accused him of betrayal and wishful thinking. You've attacked lawyers, judges, civil servants, the head of the Metropolitan Police. People are worried about deaths in Gaza. You've attacked the homeless. You've attacked migrants as being part of an invasion. Isn't the truth you're a headline grabber who does it by spreading poison even within your own party? The truth is that when I served as Home Secretary, I sought to be honest. Honest to the British people. Honest for the British people. And sometimes... Honest. You're a charlatan, you're a liar, you're a crook. When you were challenged on immigration, what you did was you offload responsibility onto civil servants and you offloaded responsibility onto ministers. You wanted them to answer the questions, the tough questions, because you couldn't answer them. Either because you didn't know the answer or you were afraid that if you actually told the truth it would undermine your position. This is somebody who loves this type of criticism. She wants this because she can then turn around and say, look, the left-wing media, obviously the mainstream media, the left-wing media is criticizing me. The far right within the Conservative Party love this. They see, see, she's the one standing up to the courts. She's standing up to the lefty lawyers. She hates immigrants. She hates the homeless. She hates the same people we hate. And she's willing to say it. We don't have the guts to say it, but she does. And she's doing it because out of opportunism. She wants to be the next leader. So, of course, she's not going to say, I'm sorry I said those things, or um, I take it back, or you're, mis you know, you're misrepresenting what I said. She, she didn't say anything to this effect in this interview. Horrible language, toxic language. And she is reveling in it because she knows it will boost her image. Sometimes honesty is uncomfortable, but I'm not going to shy away from telling people how it is and from plain speaking. And if that upsets polite society, then I'm sorry about that. But the point is that... Once again, this is about telling people, racists and bigots, that she's on their side. We need to be honest. We need to be clear-eyed about the situation right now. We can't keep failing the British people. We have made promise after promise. We have put forward plan after plan. They have all failed. And we have now run out of time. This is a, a, an issue of huge importance to the majority of British people who desperately want us to fix it. We need to be honest about that. And, if, and only if we're honest will we have a chance of properly fixing it and resolving this issue. You said this is about, and what she's doing here is she's saying that if we don't fix this, we're going to fail. And what she's, this is also a message to the Conservative Party. It's not just to the public, but also the Conservative Party. I don't believe for a second that the principal issue on people's minds, the general public's minds, is immigration. It's cost of living. It's the NHS. It's crumbling schools. It's jobs, things like that, that they're the real issues people are concerned with. But she's trying to gaslight the public, trying to suggest, no, no, you, you don't really care about cost of living. You truly care about immigration and I'm the one to deal with it. Rishi Sunak made his promises and he failed. This is about predicting, and I mentioned this in another video, this is about her predicting that the conservatives are going to lose on immigration. The conservatives will lose. But it won't be because of immigration, it's because of cost of living, because of the economy. But she will be able to spin this. See, I told you we, we would lose if we didn't have a tough immigration policy. I was fired because I was telling the truth. This is exactly what she's doing. It's necessary to tell it how it is. Wouldn't the honest answer be to say, it's always all about you? No, I wouldn't say that at all. I, I gave a statement yesterday when I talked 
almost exclusively about the policies and what we need to do. And that's what I'm on this show to talk about. I'm very concerned that the bill on the table will allow a merry-go-round of le legal claims and litigation. The solution to that is a form of ouster clause which excludes individual claims, which limits the justiciability of some of those claims so that we can get decisions made by the Secretary of State to detain and remove and flights off to Rwanda as quickly as possible. Brad, my, my, my statements have been focused on policy uh, and I urge the Prime Minister to change course and change policy. See, what she's doing is, I'm urging, I'm the one telling the Prime Minister he needs to change direction. If he doesn't change direction, it's not my fault. I told him that this is what he should have done. This is the, the solution to the problem. Of course, this is not the solution to the problem. She's talking about breaking international and domestic law. That's not going to fix the problem. If the, if the, if the Tories truly cared about bringing down the numbers of so-called illegal immigration, they would set up, as the Fran French have said they would agree to, they would set up processing centres in Calais. But the Tories don't want to do that because then it takes immigration off the table. It's all they have left. It's, they, they can't run on the economy because it's at tatters. They can't run on the NHS. They have destroyed it. So all they have left is immigration, something they try to weaponize ahead of every general election. And they will try to do it once again. They're doing it at the minute. But you notice here once again how Suella Braveman didn't push back on the, the, the language being used against her. She wants more of it. She loves this type of rhetoric because it feeds into the narrative that she is the the one speaking up on behalf of the British people. She's not afraid for to be criticised by the mainstream media or by the left. Her supporters love that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.